Howdy champs! My name is Mohitan. People today in this uh, Dreamweaver and jQuery tutorial we're going to discuss some uh, commonly used traversing methods namely next, next all, previous, or prev, prev all, first and last. Okay. Um, I have the HTML CSS document ready as well as the uh, external JS file ready. We're going to manipulate the uh, HTML CSS document as well as uh, the JS uh, document a wee bit so that we can explain these concepts to you. Okay. Now, um, first, let me show you how my local site folder actually looks. Okay. I have this jQuery 1.9.1 minified version that obviously we need and uh, you can grab it from jQuery.com. Obviously, this is the backbone, and uh, you just need it. Okay. This is the externally kept uh, next next all JavaScript file. You could have given it a different name too. And this is the HTML document uh, next next all. all. Right. Again, uh, you could have given it a different name too. Cool. Uh, let me also show you a published preview how things uh, stand at the moment you see uh, this is heading 1 this is heading 2 quite spaced out letters right this is heading 3 and this is heading 4 uh, the only thing to notice out here is the way the heading 2 actually appears quite spaced out um, and faded out too because the opacity has been dropped okay cool now let's open up uh, Dreamweaver and uh, let's discuss the HTML document. Okay, so uh, I'm using HTML5. Just keeps things clean, uh, you know, neat and tidy. Not too much of a uh, code, uh, especially around this area, the doc type area. Okay, so this is the opening HTML tag, the closing HTML tag, head uh, closes out here, the meta tag out here with the char set uh, attribute, the title goes out here. We will be discussing the uh, few tra uh, traversing methods. Traversing means traveling across through the different uh, elements. Uh, this is the, the first script tag which is connecting this HTML uh, CSS document to the externally kept jQuery 1.9.1 minified uh, latest jQuery version uh, at the time of making this tutorial. And uh, follows next is the uh, script tag which is then tying it up with the next next all dot js externally kept javascript file which is this file okay so basically the source code or the html css document is connected to a jquery 1.9.1 minified js is also connected to the next dot uh, next next all uh, dot js file okay now before i do anything uh, at all let me just explain what is inside the body of the document whatever goes inside the opening closing body tags people is what is actually visible on the web page don't we all know that at least we should okay so we start off with a division div or a division which has an id a unique id of one the div closes out here in line number 18 <coughs> excuse me i've kept the html pretty simple uh, you have an opening closing h1 tag an h2 tag out here an h3 tag and an h4 tag with some text inside that's all that is there inside the body of the document so we have an h1 uh, heading heading 1 heading 2 heading 3 and heading 4 inside the opening closing body tags very very simple uh, html css and uh, let me create a a rule for you let me click on this plus button uh, the contextual selector is set to compound which is but fine I'm gonna uh, create a rule uh, like so h1 comma so basically targeting multiple selectors h2 comma h3 comma h4 and uh, for simplicity's sake I'm keeping it inside this document only although the preferred way of working is to keep it outside not uh, make it internal or an, em or an embedded rule uh, although there's nothing nothing stopping you from uh, creating an internal or an embedded rule alright so creating a multiple selector targeting h1 h2 h3 and h4 elements or tags 
and um, I'm straight away going to head to the border category. I'm going to make sure that the border is set to uh, solid but 1px. Let's not touch the color at all. That's absolutely okay. Mm, as well as go to the block category. The display type uh, by default is block. I'm going to change it to inline block. Okay, say apply, say okay, and uh, let's just save all and let's bring up the browser preview let's refresh the button okay notice uh, that there's been some change now since the uh, it's not a block element anymore it's an inline block element so we see the uh, heading one two three and four uh, adjacent to each other not above and below each other okay not the top down hierarchy but the left right uh, left right hierarchy or the arrangement Okay, uh, very clearly we see that the heading 2 appears quite differently from the uh, rest of the headings. Cool. Uh, let's minimize this and let's see why exactly is the H2 element appearing quite differently from the rest of the elements. Okay, people, let me tell you once again inside the body tags we have just one single division which has an ID 1. And all the four headings, H1, H2, H3, H4 elements are inside this uh, only division which has an ID 1. Now let's uh, get to the next next all.js file where you know where uh, all the magic is, where all the traversing methods have been used. We've used the find and the next traversing methods, so the traveling methods traveling across the different elements and pulling out a specific or targeting a specific element. Let's see how this was actually done. Uh, this is the standard ready uh, method. Uh, so when the document is actually ready, when the DOM has initialized and ready to be manipulated is when I would want a function to be run which is defined in line number four. It's just one single uh, line of code. So it's okay if I don't write it all over again. It's just pre-written for you. Uh, that's very simple. Okay. I'm targeting the only div which has an ID 1. So using the dollar sign and targeting the div with an ID 1. And then I'm using the find method to find what? H1. Okay. So uh, basically it will look inside this division it will locate the h1 heading or the h1 element inside so I would want it to find any occurrence of h1 and then I would want to target the very next element through the next traversing method and obviously what do you think the next element is h2 uh, quite clearly and once it actually locates the next element which is H2 quite uh, simply quite obviously it's H2 and nothing else I would want to use the animate method and animate three different properties the letter spacing the opacity and the border width uh, we can animate only those properties which have a number or a value attached to them. I cannot animate background color. I cannot animate the font color. Right? So basically the properties which can have a value can be animated and that is the reason why I chose letter spacing, uh, opacity and border width as the three uh, properties that I would like to see animated. And uh, this people is the time period in which I would want the animation to happen. Uh, I've kept it at 800 milliseconds. You could have kept it at a different value too. Okay. Uh, you can even replace this with the word slow or the word fast as well. Right? Uh, or alternatively you can use a number which actually shows uh, time in terms of milliseconds as I have done out here. Alright, say save again. Okay people, so uh, now 
basically looking inside div with an id1 locating h1 targeting the next element which is h2 and increasing the letter spacing to 12 pixels dropping the opacity to 50 percent and increasing the border width to a 5 pixels is exactly what is happening over 800 milliseconds uh, earlier if you remember the border width was just 1px so let's take up a preview uh, browser preview once again quite clearly it's animating over uh, 800 milliseconds increasing the letter spacing the border width uh, and the and dropping the opacity quite clearly okay let's dive inside uh, the Dreamweaver document once again let's head to the JavaScript file and let's make some change now instead of saying find uh, no sorry instead of saying uh, h1 let's change this to h2 let's say save all let's bring up the browser preview let's refresh and see what happens okay so uh, I'd like to see the code once again so yep so basically uh, it's targeting the H3 uh, element this time because uh, what follows H2 or the heading 2 is nothing but the H3 okay so I think it's, it's quite clear to you how the the next and the fine traversing methods actually work obviously if this were h1 <coughs> excuse me let's say save let's bring up the browser preview let's refresh and uh, again it's that that's the uh, heading one that's targeted uh, targeted and if it were h4 people can you guess what would happen there's nothing following up <coughs> the h4 element so uh, obviously nothing is going to happen but if i were to come out here and replace the next traversing method with the prev method uh, it should work so it should target h3 that precedes uh, uh, h4 let's refresh and uh, quite clearly the heading 3 uh, element has been affected this time okay now let's discuss the uh, next all method 2 let's uh, find h1 and instead of saying prev let's say next all with a capital A very very important people let's uh, save and uh, let's bring up the browser preview obviously uh, all the elements next to the heading 1 all of them heading 2 3 and 4 have been aff affected uh, quite clearly and if this were h4 and I would say prev all obviously h1 h2 and h3 would be affected uh, let's check it out let's refresh so barring h4 element h1 h2 and h3 elements have been affected so you see it's so very easy to uh, work with uh, you know uh, next next all prep prep all, prep all uh, methods uh, right and as I promised you will be discussing uh, two more uh, methods the first and the last method I'm gonna make some change out here to the code I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna say uh, header rather I'm gonna say colon header all right basically when I say this I mean that I'm targeting all the uh, h1 h2 all the uh, heading elements h1 h2 h3 and h4 so all the four together okay and but I'm gonna replace this bit with this so uh, it's gonna target first all the heading elements and then only the first of all the heading elements so basically the one at the top which which is the h1 so let's test the truth out let's say file save and uh, let's refresh uh, and let's see what happens quite clearly uh, of all the heading elements has just targeted the uh, first element which is h1 and similarly if I were to replace the word first with the word last uh, we all know what's gonna happen right don't we let's refresh and quite clearly it's affected only the uh, heading 4 and nothing else all right so people uh, I hope you learned a lot uh, from this uh, tutorial we talked about 
uh, next next all prep prev all uh, first and last traversing methods in jQuery. So people, I hope uh, you'll keep coming back for more. Uh, you have a good day. Bye bye. Peace.